Hi, I'm F. Paul Wilson, and I'll be reading from a Biblio mystery called The Compendium of Srem. It takes place during the Spanish Inquisition. Tomas de Torquemada opened his eyes in the dark, someone knocking on his door. It's Brother Adelard, good prior. I must speak to you. Even if he had not heard his name, Tomas would have recognized the French accent. It's late. Can it not wait till morning? I fear not. Come then. With great effort, Tomas struggled to bring his 80-year-old body to a sitting position. As Brother Adelard entered the tiny room, carrying a candle and a cloth-wrapped bundle. He pulled the cloth from the rectangular bundle, revealing a book like no book he had ever seen. Have you ever seen anything like it? Tomas shook his head. No, he hadn't. The covers and spines seemed to be made of stamped metal. He squinted at the strange marks embossed on the cover. They made no sense at first, then seemed to swim into focus. Words in Spanish. At least one was in Spanish. Compendio ran along the upper half in large, ornate letters, and below that, half size, srem. What do you see, Adelard said. The candle flame wavered as his hand began to shake. The title, I should think. The words, prior. Please tell me the words you see. I see compendio and srem. The candle flame wavered more violently. When I look at it, prior, I too see srem. But to my eyes, the first word is not compendio, but compendium. Tomas bent closer. No, his eyes had not fooled him. It's plain as day, compendio. It ends in I-O. You were raised speaking Spanish, prior, but I was raised in Lyon. Spent most of my life speaking French before the Pope assigned me to you. Yes, yes, what of it? When, when you look at the cover, you see compendio, a Spanish word. When I look at the cover, I see a French word, compendium. Tomas pushed the book away and struggled to his feet. Have you gone mad? Adelard struggled back, trembling. I feared I was. I was sure I was. But you see it too. I see what is stamped on the metal, nothing more. But this afternoon, when Amory was sweeping my room, he spied the cover and asked where I had learned to speak Berber. I asked him what he meant. He grinned and pointed at the cover, saying, Berber, Berber. Tomas felt himself going cold. Berber? Yes, he was born in Almeria, where they speak Berger. And to his eyes, the two words on the cover were written in Berber script. Tomas knew Amory, as did everyone else in the monastery. A simple-minded Morisco, he was incapable of duplicity. It appears to me, good prior, that whoever looks at this book sees the words in their native tongue. But how can that be? How can that be? Tomas's knees felt weak. He pulled the chair to his side and lowered himself into it. What sort of deviltry have you brought into our house? Ba-da-da-da! -da -da -da.